animals aren't present, they're live and they've got feelings. Animals, especially dogs, they take up so much, they need so much from you. Yeah. It's a massive commitment. I think it's important as well for people to remember that their lives are completely different at Christmas. You know, you will tend to be seeing family, you have people over or you're out for longer periods of time and that's not what any animal needs, especially like a rescue. You know, they need that time to bond with you, like, to get used to you and, and your house. A lot of people do have time off over Christmas, which is lovely, but you know, you, I think people have to remember they might spend two weeks with this dog or cat or rabbit and then they're going back to work and then they're just being left so yeah it's just important to make sure you like have got all the boxes ticked if you are wanting to get an animal and you know making sure that you can meet all of their needs. Why shouldn't they? It's not their fault that they're here you know it's it's good for their mentality, their like mental health and stuff, their physical animals health as well, aren't they? And yeah. us as the family and part of the pack, really. Yeah, um, it's heartbreaking having to leave them. Um, as much as like you know, you enjoy your Christmas day. It's such a yeah. It's sad to see them in here when you go away. They're like we're we're babies, the you know. The bond that we build with them with the time that they're here is just so strong. Um, yeah. They all come to see us. <laughs> is uh, obviously is their people really while they're here they are our animals yeah and they can't speak for themselves so we speak for them yeah